and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a 2024 Toyota Tundra Limited Hybrid in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, hybrid of course, iForce. It's up to 437 horsepower and 583 pound foot of torque. Up front, we have the LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and the fog lights. If you look on the outside corner, as well as across the front bumper, you'll see these little round nodules. These are your front parking sensors. We also have the black logo in the front and the Tundra logo emblazed as well. As we get along to the side, we have the black alloy wheels and then that iForce Max badging. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and a blind spot monitoring. Rear windows all come with factory tinting. And on both of the rear doors, you'll find your limited trim level badge. Up front here, or in the back here up top, we have the bed lights turned on currently. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. As we approach the back here, looking across your rear bumper now, you will again find backup parking sensors. And looking underneath, you will find your spare tire. On your handle, just to the right, is where your backup camera is. And to open up your rear space here, you can reach into the handle space and press the button. Or you can go along to the driver's side rear light and press here. Taking a look back here, again, you'll find your Tundra logo emblazed. Along the back here, more of that bed lighting. And on the right-hand side, you'll find an additional power outlet. To close it up, just reach down and bring up your tailgates. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So in here, you'll see your internal upholstery is this black leatherette. From the side, it looks solid black, but as you look at it from the front, you have this little peekaboo textured pattern that comes through. Really cool little feature. We have the folding down armrest slash cup holder here, which easily folds away to increase your seating space. Looking up from there, you'll find this little strap. If you give that a tug or pull on the one on the outside corner of your rear passenger seat, you'll be able to adjust your seat forward to access the storage just behind. You're also able to move up your rear bottom of the seat by, again, pulling on the little strap and then just giving it a lift. Rear passengers have a great view of the panoramic moonroof. On the backs of both your front passenger and front driver's seats, we have pouch storage. In the back of the console, we have cup holders, a storage space, as well as plenty of charging options. The vehicle does come with both carpet and rubber tierty, or rubber and carpet tundra mats. Inside the door, we have some more storage there. Then if you take a look at your handle, you'll find this little divot on the left-hand side indicating keyless entry. You can tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside your driver's door panel, we have the power windows for front, back, and child safety lock, power lock system, and your side mirror controls. On the left, you have the ability to fold your mirrors in flat with the side of the body. This can work automatically with locking and unlocking, or you can do it manually using these controls. Front driver's seat is electronically adjustable as well as having memory seat settings. Front passenger seat also has electronic adjustments, back front, up down, and lumbar support. Hood release latch on the bottom left hand side of your dash. Above that we have controls for your headlamps, your heated leather steering wheel, AC 120 volt, your rear parking sensor, odometer, trip, dash brightness, release for your gas compartment, and the controls for that rear bed light. Up up here, take a look at your steering wheel. So on the left hand side here, we have the controls for your dash display, hands free communication and your volume control. Right hand side, you have radio controls on the bottom and adaptive cruise control up top, including sonar and your lane departure. Up top here, you'll find this little storage space with a 12 volt adapter on the left. Underneath that is your infotainment display screen. We have a nice large display here. This is where you access much of your information about your daily driving experience, including your optional navigation and all of your audio listening. This unit does come with AM, FM, and satellite radio. 
Also has a full Bluetooth connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and an optional USB adapter. Under that, we have the volume control on the left, then of course all of the climate controls, including the fact that it is the dual option, so you're able to control your temperatures separately, or sync them up to work in unison. Under that, you have your defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirror defrost, and then both heated and cooled tri-level seats for the driver and front passenger. To the right, you have a USB port. To the left, you have your push start ignition with your trailer controls. Underneath, you have your traction control and four ways. Just in front of your gear shift is your parking brake. Just back from there is your two wheel four high and four low, as well as your drive versus tow modes. Lots of storage throughout the middle here. If you'll take a note, you'll see this little black rectangle with a little symbol in the middle and a glowing green dot. This is a wireless charging pad that is compatible with all wireless charging devices. It's really great positioning so that your phone is able to stand up in that way so you can still keep an eye on what's happening, but it's not going to move around too much thanks to this rubberized texture and the little guards on the side and on the bottom. Just back from there is your middle console space where you have, of course, storage, but also more charging spaces. Looking up from there on your rear view mirror, you have these one, two, and three dot controls. Those are your garage door openers. Above that, you have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, your overhead lighting, as well as controls for your moonroof on either side. Nice panoramic view there. And then on the left is your control for your rear windshield. It is power adjustable to go up and down, just like any other power window. But we can take a look at it in action. If you push the control in, you'll see it roll down. And if you pull it back towards you, it'll roll back up. Really great feature for just letting in a little bit of extra airflow. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this 2024 Toyota Tundra Limited Hybrid. In the color white, it is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.